Hello everyone. What's going on YouTube? It's good old Pete here, aka Jersey Knife Guy. Um it's is this a mind blower? I don't know where to begin with this one. I really don't. But we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna dissect it. We're gonna get try and figure it out, guys. So stick around for a minute. Uh Thrifty Kniffy. A few days back, he shot this video on this particular piece here. It's a single-bladed copper head. Okay? Now, to begin, we might want to stress a little bit that these knives do not come up. I've tried getting one of these for years. They don't come up. Apparently, the seller said that this was a 2005 model. He had a bunch of them posted. I went over to eBay and sure enough, Thrifty was right on the money with saying that they were listing them. And I just got to give a great big shout out to him because he gave me the heads up on it. Well, he gave everybody the heads up on it. And without him doing that video and saying that they were on eBay, I would have never scored one of these. Lo and behold, I got into an argument with the girlfriend, the wife. Um, she came home from work. I scored one. It was, They were up for $20. So here, Thrifty got his for 12 And I sat there, literally, I sat there on the couch, and I'm like scratching my head, and I'm thinking and thinking and thinking. I'm like, all right, but gather yourself up. What's going on? <clears throat> I just dropped 20 bucks on this piece. So now Thrifty comes in at 12, and I'm like, really? So I go back, I want it to go back on that website, and for that money, put the bid in, and do it the right way, and do $12 a piece as the bid, because he said that they it, you would automatically get accepted, because it was on some kind of auto pay, and you're getting accepted right away, because he said his bid went through immediately immediately lo and behold um i got into an argument with my wife she came home and all hell broke loose it was the bad thing to do at the wrong time she's coming home from work and i'm hitting her with knives and all this other stuff and i'm I, you know she wants to settle in she wants to kick her shoes off and here i am telling her about eBay and knives and this and that. And I got to order this knife right away because you don't understand. You don't understand, Tricia. They're going to sell out right away. I know how it works. These knives don't come up. So lo and behold, I got, I got the one. But I want, after I thought about it, I wanted to put the bid in and I wanted to get three more at least i was going to ready to shoot for three more at that price if i could have got them for 12 which i knew i could have and that would have been that i could have did giveaways with them the whole nine yards you know it would have been fantastic it didn't work out that way because we were kind of into a disagreement uh argument type deal you guys all know how that rolls so you i don't need to elaborate any more than that so it didn't work out so I got the one. I was fortunate enough to get the one. You know, I'm the big, I'm a big, big, big copperhead lover. You guys all know that. And I have been chasing this one for quite some time. And um, you can't get them. You, I mean, you can't get them. And it was just a fluke that some individual was selling a bunch of these at just rock bottom price. Whatever you put in for the your bid, whatever the bid, you may have gotten them cheaper than $12. It was going to get accepted. And it's just a real kick in the ass. A real kick in the ass that I didn't do it right. I could have been sitting on 3 right now. I could have been sitting on 3 right now easily. Easily. It would have been simple pimple. But me jumping the gun as quick as I did, I thought they were going to go out of stock. Because I thought every Dick, Tom, and Harry was going to dance on eBay and grab one. And you got to move fast. You guys know how it goes. You got to move fast. So I didn't quite play my cards right. And I, I wind up getting one. So anyway, God must have been 
thinking of me because I'm going to show you something right now uh, that was in the package and I didn't order it. I don't know how it, I, I don't, I'm not going to say I don't know how it got to me, but it was in the package along with this. So we're going to go ahead and show you that now. So I open up the package. I look at this. Great. Fit, I got to talk about the fit and finish on this too. It's a 2005. They, he said it was a 2005 model. We'll get back to that. So I open up the package. There was another package. So I open that up and I said, what's this? All, also, I'm talking fast right now. This pouch came with it too, which was shocking in itself. Now, Thrifty, I don't know if Thrifty got a pouch with his. I don't know. So if you're watching this video, Thrifty, let me know if you got a little nylon pouch with yours as well. So anyway, bingo. I open up the pouch, I open up the bag and tear into the other package. I'm like, maybe they messed up. They sent me two. I'm like, am I getting lucky here? What's going on? And this is what I got. Can you believe this? Now, you guys just all, Tobias Gibson just reviewed this piece last week, and so did Thrifty. I didn't order this. I didn't order this knife, okay? But it was in my package along with this guy. So now, I've got this, I've got two just fantastic Rough Riders, right? That I never had. Uh, these also, you're not going to get these. You can't get these knives. This is another one that you cannot get. You're not getting this. And it was sitting in the bottom of the box in cellophane in a, ba in a box. In a, in a box. Okay? That's the way it came. You see it? I just, I don't understand it. I am so appreciative, right? Because maybe God was feeling bad for me. I don't know because I, I messed up this here. I messed this deal up because I could have got a bunch of these, uh, you know, and, and, and did a lot of things with these. If I would have, if I, you know, if I could have got my hands on a bunch of these. So I know, I know, uh, I do believe uh, David Curley, I do believe David Curley got his hands on a few of these pieces too, because he was uh, poking fun. He said, yeah, he grabbed, I think he grabbed the, he grabbed a couple. So David Curley, if you're listening and you want to part with at least one, I'd like to buy another one off of you. Um, I have no problem with paying you, just let me know what, what I owe you, whatever it is, but I'd like to get another one of these copperheads if possible. That's my main, you know, my main goal, um, because I am a huge copperhead guy. Okay. And I have been chasing these for years and I just want to get another one. I mean, no, no reason for it. I just really would like to have another one in the collection. Um, and I don't mind paying, you know, whatever, whatever you charge, you know, it, it's fair, you know. Um, but this is the single bladed uh, copperhead. Um, I fell in love with it from the beginning, from day one. It's got uh, curinite um, celluloid uh, handles, uh, plastic. Uh, it's like a pearl. Uh, now, I know Thrifty said his came with a big dimple in the middle of it. Um, this does have a few imperfections as well. Same thing as is, uh, the split in the back, but I got to clean it all up. I'm going to shine the back. Um, I'm going to try and make it look as, you know, as good as I can. The action half stops on it. Fantastic. It even comes with half stops. Um, uh, centering, centering. <sighs> Can't complain with that. It's not rubbing. It's pretty gosh darn good. I'm not going to complain with that. Like I said, it's a 2005 model. You have this abalone inlay here. Really pretty little oval abalone, uh, faux abalone inlay here 
which is just fantastic. Uh, these covers are fantastic. They're like pearl, uh, you know, like a, like a pearl white. Just a really, really, really fantastic piece. And this is one that's going to go great in my Copperhead collection. And um, just really, really glad to have it. Really, really glad to have it. And like I said, once again, shout out to Thrifty. Because if, if it wasn't for him doing the video and he didn't see it or pick this one up, this would have never been in my hands right now. Because you can't see them all. You know what I mean? It's very hard uh, to spot them all. You know what I mean? Uh, like, e you can't even go to all the websites like Blade HQ, GP Knives, um, all the big uh, knife uh, center. You can't see them all. So what they have on their sites, you miss all that. You don't know what's you don't know what's the new knives out. You don't. You have no idea because there's so many of them. You have no idea. And for them to throw this little uh, pouch in here was just an extra bonus, okay? Was just an extra plus for me. And this is another piece of cutlery, Rough Rider cutlery, quote unquote, that doesn't come up. You're talking knives here that doesn't come up for sale in Rough Rider. When you're talking Rough Rider knives, you're not going to find these. You're not going to find one of these uh, knives here. You're not going to get one of these. They are very difficult. You have to go into somebody's private collection and somebody is willing to sell to get one of these knives. This one and also this one, the Copperhead. This, the only way, like I said, you're going to get either one of these is if someone goes in their private collection and decides to sell. Now, I don't know who that seller was that was getting rid of all these, but there was a bunch of these being sold on the website, and I didn't have a clue on this one. I didn't, I didn't know nothing about this one. It just came to me. It just came to me. How that happened, guys, I don't know. Anyway, guys, please, I'd appreciate, um, of all times, I'd appreciate a comment. Let me know how you guys think I got this. Was it a mistake? Uh, how did I get this? What, what is your thinking on this? You know what I mean? What is your thinking on this copperhead here? Do you guys like these knives? These dig these copper single bladed copper heads. Um, yeah, you know, of above all times right now, you know, I'd appreciate that comment. You know, you know, I was going to say it here today. So, yeah, drop me that comment, please. Greatly want to read them, know your thoughts, know your feelings, uh, get inside your heads on these two pieces. Uh, Thrifty Kniffy, did you get a pouch? with your copperhead and uh you know what what's you know what it is is what it is but uh that's about it guys let me know your feelings let me know your thoughts i'd greatly appreciate it because i'm just a little i'm a little uh mixed up on this here this one especially. So let me know what you guys are feeling. Let me know what your guys are thoughts on that. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Be good, be well, be safe. Have a fantastic weekend. And uh, I'm going to sit here and read them comments when they start flowing in. Because I'm curious. Very, very, very curious. You guys be safe once again. Have a good weekend, will yous? Thanks, guys. Be well.